Hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Observation. In the last episode we, uh, well, this happened. Exp uh, gory stuff everywhere. We are currently looking for Emma. I mean, I have no idea where she is, so that could be fun. Uh, it's a new day, so my brain has kind of restored itself uh, than last time, because I was struggling a little bit at the end there. But hopefully we are coming up to some sort of conclusion because things are getting very strange and very spooky and, well, who knows what the hell's going to happen. We are looking for Emma Fisher, someone who we thought was dead. So, kind of... It's good, really, because she's my favourite character. But uh, if we look at our objectives, our three... Uh, bring Emma back. E-A-S-11. So, we need to go to E-A-S... 11. Now, I don't actually know where that is. <laughs> uh, EAS is the European arm, so it's the... Well, it's the European one. It's the place where we first started. Uh, but I thought we couldn't get to this. We can't see her in there yet. So that must mean we need to bring the sphere with us. So the big question is, how the hell do I get from... Welsh flag again, yay. Uh, how the hell do I get from where I am? Where are you? It says to UN1, but I had a funny feeling that's not how you get there. It must just be a main... Then again, UN1 is up here. These are link conduits. Coolant network, no. You'd have thought it would be straight from here. That's UN67. EAS 1 to 12, so it's definitely this way. Let's have a look. See if we can follow the uh, in station commands a little bit. The nice little signposts telling us where we can go. That says to enter horizon. That doesn't. Should we assume that this is the way to enter horizon? I find it very hard to navigate around the space station. I will be the first person to admit this. Okay, that didn't... That looks like a dead end. This is the medical room. This is UN... 7. Doesn't help me at all. Unless there's another door I'm not seeing. Well, there's that one there. I suppose we'll try it. This is leading to UN1. Any doors here? The lock door. The hatch control for this door that's already open, so that doesn't help me. Tell, do we get to EAS? It's definitely, this is definitely the connection of some description because. Well, it says on the map it is. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. What's that? Oh, is that the, that the control room? I got all twisted and twisted. Twisted and turned. Ooh, we could look for vents. Yeah, I saw any vents. See any vents? I think so. Because we have this whole station. I must be 
missing something. It's gonna be bloody obvious, like it always is. It's gonna make me wanna cry. Wait a minute, where's this? How did I just get here? Uh, we'll work it out. This looks new and different, so I'm going with it. Wait, is this the EAS? Yeah, it is. Oh my god. I somehow mysteriously wandered into the EAS. I don't know how. But uh, we're going we're gonna to go with it. We'll just see where we go. We know she's in EAS 11, which should be all the way down. Yes? No? Uh, six to eight. So we need to get to nine and then it's in the room nine. we hit a bloody dead end, didn't we? Uh, oh wait, no, the door above us is open. Oh no. No, 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 there's no crash. That alien doesn't show up anytime soon. Because that would be really upsetting. AS8. Ooh, little cabby hole. Uh, around here somewhere, I'm getting turned around again. Another cubby hole, that doesn't help. Hmm. In here. Just where I came, I think that's just where I came from. Pretty sure. I'm about to find out if this goes down to eight, six. Damn it, I've come back on myself. So I did find the way forward and then thought it was the way I came. It's typical. Just typical. Let's try. And... Wait, is this it? This is the AS10. He's in 11. Let's turn on this computer. Uh, uh, suit information. A diagram detailing the various parts of the EMU, an extravehicular mobility unit suit. Not all that useful. Probably should have got this right to start again. So we're in ten. No, we've gone. We've gone past. Oh, bloody hell! Uh, now we're in nine. I wish you'd stay on what one I was on definitely in this room somewhere. It's in 9 somewhere, and then there's going to be a turn off, and I just need to not get lost. This is all... No, that's 8. All the walls. Oh. This it, maybe? Oh, this looks promising. Wait, what's this combination of files that I've been ignoring at the bottom of my screen? We combining data with. Uh, and there it is. I've missed so much random stuff. Oh, the CN arm, originally part of the CASA Chinese Climate In Initiative Shenzhou Twelve mission. The repurposed CNR module was the last to be attached to the LOSS in late 2025. 
Usage. Research into atmospheric conditions and associated changes from an orbital position. Remarks. This model is also of vital importance to the international effort to analyse and understand the unprecedented acceleration of climate change since 2020, and to find a way to avoid or delay global catastrophe. This mission is secondary to the overall observation mission, but still of vital importance. Great. I'm in the AS-11. I don't see Emma. She's normally in a giant bright red... Yeah, oh wait, is she... inside maybe? Can we interact with something? Yeah, let's open the internal hatch. No, close the internal hatch. Open the external hatch? The pressure rise? I don't know if we're killing her or saving her here. I don't know what we're doing. Oh, wait. Are we going to get her? Oh, no. There she is. Hello. I thought we were going to go pick her up. Oh, I'm glad she's back. Is she going to be like, oh, God, what the hell has happened here? Uh, she, better, she better look the same. Very upset. Yeah, she's fine. Look at her. Don't worry about it. I am here. Why is she talking like Sam? I could feel everything when I was in that airlock. I felt it when Jim was attacking your mainframe. I felt your pain. I know why you brought me here. I know you've been moving the station closer and closer to the storm. I don't know if you realize it or not. It's time. You have to take us there. We'll need Earth's coordinates to broadcast the message. Find that for us, Sam. Uh, astrometrics? Yeah, okay. Astrometrics. I remember this from the last one. Uh, are you four? Now, I'm guessing the ast uh, to find Earth, it's going to be... Whoops, accidentally not my ma mouse. And it was like, do you want to use keyboard controls? Uh, it'll be far field imaging? I guess. Oh, which one is Earth? I'm guessing it will be called Earth. Maybe it'll have a pale. Maybe it'll be a pale blue dot. It'll be fine. <laughs> no HD. I would program this better have called it Earth. Very upset. That's assuming it is on far field. Can we try near field? Let's have a quick look at near field. Just in case. Uh... Well, there's the rescue station. That doesn't help, does it? No, this seems way too close. I don't know how far away we're. We're in Saturn. Well, I suppose that is kind of... Could take a while. I do. I, I yeah. I don't really know how to make this go any quicker. Uh, zooming out would be nice. Okay, I'm going back to. Whoops! I pressed near field again. I'm gonna say I'm going back to far field. You just thought Earth would be highlighted in some way or another, so we're going to do this very systematically. See if we can see anything strange. I keep being drawn to that 
white dot there. I don't know why. I don't think it's anything. data here to try and look through because you've got that star right there that's a bit weird isn't it unless star means earth we will try it I'm gonna keep going just in case Is there anything else that's more obvious riveting viewing right here. This video series has been one of my more interesting video series, that's for sure. Okay, we're at the bottom of the map. Where I find out that I actually went over Earth and didn't even notice it because I haven't even been looking at that side of the screen. No, fine, we're gonna we're gonna try Earth. The star, even. Even without knowing that it is actually Earth. Uh, so we need to go to communications. Array authentication required. So if we... Mm, so RA17. I'm literally making this up. This might not work. 17, 22... 56. Come the long way around. 56. And then deck is 50. I really hope this is right. Otherwise this whole episode is just going to be me staring at that damn screen. Trying to work out where Earth is. And uh, how, do I, how do I get the author the authorization key we already have, right? Uh, no, am I, am I missing something here? One is definitely a one. Hmm. I'm not messing this up. Am I R three? What's that going to do? Set coordinates in Samos comms and then broadcast the message. Yeah, I have. It must be the wrong. Must be the wrong coordinates. But it, well, how do you set the coordinates? Oh. We have the authorization key, so it is literally just that. Okay, we're going back into the uh, astrometrics. Oh boy, maybe I will speed through this until I find it, because otherwise I'm going to lose my mind so be right back oh you can't be serious okay it was one of the ones that was highlighted by the uh the sticky thing god damn it now i do feel like an idiot but never mind i could have messed around with it for much longer than that let's put it that way okay so let's quickly put these in 8 38 oops 38, 24, oh man, which is, yeah, 24, this is probably the quickest way of doing it, I'm going to break my hand, ah, it goes green when it's right, wonderful, 32 would have been definitely quicker to go about this way, 
there's tip two. I went past it because I was looking at my 14 and 12. Wonderful. Let's both. Just external. Oh, uh, we want it to be Emma Fisher, I guess? I don't know the difference between both, but let's do it. This is Emma Fisher, on board Observation. We are in orbit around Saturn. We arrived here suddenly, maybe a day ago. We're beginning to make a controlled descent into the storm. The polar storm on Saturn is... It's an answer. I know a lot of this won't make any sense. But Sam and I... We've changed. Sam is capable of so much in so many ways. And I... I don't know what is happening to me, but... I know I'll never be the same again. Everyone else is dead. I've started a broadcast of all black box data from Sam, and I hope you can put this together in a way that makes sense, and that it wasn't all for nothing. We'll broadcast as long as we are able. The alarm. The station is entering Saturn's atmosphere. Uh oh. Station orbit trajectory is unsafe. Recommend immediate orbital adjustment. You need to alter your trajectory again. We can't miss it. Use guidance and navigation controls in UC1 when you're ready. Oh dear, how bad can this go? Okay, so, guidance and navigation. UC1. We're already in UC1, so... Which one's the guidance and navigation panel? I mean, it's the one I'm on top of. Yes, that looks promising. Oh, what is this? Uh, calculate new orbit. Uh. One. Oh. Okay. That seems good. Uh, engage burn. Do I want to adjust this? Oh no, we're good. We just we just keep burning. Nope. Okay, I guess we just burn. I don't know how close we are to our target though, so I feel like I'm missing something. Oh wait. Doesn't it say on the side before I do this? Look at all those, look at that information that I'm just blatantly ignoring. Okay, so. Aft thrusters 85. That's why nothing was changing. We weren't actually going anywhere because there was no power to any of the thrusters. 85, forward fast is 31. Thirty nine and twenty-five on the star starboard thrust of thirty nine. I'm gonna do these one at a time just in case I bugger it up. Thirty nine. Uh port thruster twenty-five. Uh 
Press B one too many times. Ah! Ah! <laughs> Let's try again. I love doing the same things more than once. I'm just gonna. I got a piece of paper. Just flip it between. I'm sure it's a super computer. I'm sure he can remember six bloody numbers. Any six. 60, 78, 4, 8, and 7, and for 18 seconds. And this is why you should always use paper nearby when you're doing anything. Uh, if I was playing this on my own, I'd be a little bit less likely to do this, but because I am making you, you poor people watch me do this, I may as well do it efficiently. 86. Press B once, let it go. 60. Seventy-eight. Fourteen. Oh, way too far. <laughs> By the time I realized I was pressing up, I was way past it. Ten. And we need to burn for 18 seconds. You get a funny feeling we're going to overshoot. Close enough. The game was kind. Doesn't look like we can make it, Sam. Would you? The alignment Damn is it. off. The station is under too much stress. Okay, I'm gonna say that Let wasn't my fault. And explode on entry. The can we use me? To the storm is to jettison the rest of the station. It's all dead weight anyway. Once you do this, Sam. There's no going back. Is there any going back anyway? So if you have anything you want to do, do it now. Uh, I'm guessing this would be a chance to find all of the uh, Access computers the and stuff. When you're ready. But, you know what? I think I'm just going to carry on. So, you see O2. this uh that needs to be up that needs to be up that needs to be up that needs to be there there and there good thing i got this from somewhere uh on off on off on off Warning, structural integrity will be compromised once the procedure is complete. Yeah, probably because it falls apart. Uh, no warning controls. This needs to be... Oh, boy. What does that mean? Link A, link B, link C. Oh, disconnected. 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 Got it. Validate code. We need six. Three. Two. I wonder what uh, sort of procedure you would need this in the real world. Like the International Space Station, why would you need to jettison most of the... Explosive bolts. If only I could remember where all the explosive bolts were. I suppose there's a. Uh... Well, maybe. 
maybe they would be at all of the intersections. That would make sense, wouldn't it? Would it? That makes sense. Are we going to find all of the explosive bolts in time? That's the question, isn't it? But you know what? Either way, I think I'm going to have to end the episode here because it's been going on for quite a while now and we have achieved quite a lot. I'm surprised I haven't spent more of the time floating around not knowing what the hell's going on. <laughs> but either way, please like, subscribe, let me know what you think. Your comments are greatly appreciated. And as always, see you next time.